first of all, I must confess that I have not uh, gone to an acting school in my life to study acting. Uh, whatever that I uh, do, I do as a, uh, in, a, in a very hit and miss, uh, trial and error manner. I just work and I learn from my work. I don't, uh, I have not been able to go to any formal uh, school for acting. So, uh, and we were also talking, discussing recently, just now about uh, how theatre acting has nothing to do with uh, film acting. Of course, there are many theatre actors uh, who work in films like me. Uh, then there are many television actors who want to work in theatre, so that uh, the label of being serious actor can be stuck on their backsides. Uh, they feel that uh, unless you do theatre, you are not seriously a, an actor, which according to me is a load of bullshit. Uh, film acting is also a very tough craft. Uh, in fact, it is tougher. That's what I've found uh, in my experience. But there are certain elements which are uh, quite, uh, you know, common to acting. And I think emotional memory or, you know, uh, emotional memory basically, I do believe, comes from the school of thought uh, perpetuated by a great Russian teacher, master and actor himself, uh, Stanislavski. He places a great deal of, uh, uh, you know, emphasis on being the character. So you be somebody else instead of just explaining what that someone did as a part of your performance. You don't explain what a character has done at a certain given time as a part of a script in a certain setting. You actually do it which uh, sometimes, you know, perplexes me. Suppose if I have to murder somebody, I don't have any emotional memory of murdering anybody. I have not murdered anybody. So what do I do? Uh, he mentioned a play called 30 Days in September. I don't know any of you guys whether you know anything about that play. Do, does anyone know about that play? I thought as much. It is about the sexual abuse of children and incest. And I play an incestual man who, when he was 16, was raping his sister who was 9 years old. And then when that sister got married and gave birth to a daughter, the uncle was raping her too. How do you get emotional memory for this? It's very tough, this, 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 uh, this thing called, ke abhi sir, aapko rona hai, ye scene mein aapki maa mar gai hai. To aap usko yaad karo, wo ek memory ko yaad karo, jab, ya. वो मेमोरी नहीं है माँ के मरने की लेकिन माँ के मरने के वक्त जो दर्द होता है वो दर्द की मेमोरी है यू कैन टैप इन टू दी ऑफ द इमोशन दैट यू हैव फेल्ट इन अ सिमिलर सरकमस्टेंस देर आर सम सिचुएशंस व्हेन यू टैकल अ कैरेक्टर वेर if whatever you do, you cannot have any memory, even remotely close to what you are supposed to enact as an actor on that particular, you know, in that particular shot or in that particular scene. Tab, of course, aapko imagination ka use karna padta hai. Aapne kahi kuch dekha hai, kahi kuch suna hai, uske baare mein aapko use karna padta hai. Aapne aadmi ki photo dekh li hai. Uh, जो जो अपनी uh, ये जैसे कि मैं मैं ये जो किरदार करता था 
I asked my director, she was Lilith Dubey. So she, you know, there was this uh, actor called Nandana Sen. She, it was her first ever, anything that she did first ever in India after coming back from abroad was this play. There was one Indo-French film that she had done, but she had never done theatre before. And I told Lilette, I said, Lilette, this is one character which I don't know the heads or tail about. How do they behave? What do they do? Can I talk to a psychiatrist? Can I talk to somebody who can tell me generally how the abusers are, you know? What do they do when they are not actually, you know, like in in normal day-to-day -day life, how they are? What are their responses to... So, I wanted all this What Lilith did was she said, okay, we'll have a workshop. She gave me and Nandana a situation. The situation was, Nandana is a happy party drunk. You know, she has come to a party where she has drunk. She's drunk and now she's a little more than drunk. So, kind of, you know, uh, there, is a, there is a hall and the party is going on there. And on the first floor is the host's bedroom and the attached bathroom there. The restroom is there. So, she goes there to vomit. And after vomiting, she wants to lie down and rest because uh, she has had one drink too many, so she wants to rest. And to use that restroom, another guest comes up and he sees her sleeping there. And then he proceeds to rape her or have sex with her. She is resisting naturally because it is not a consensual act. And this man is also a little drunk. So, even though he doesn't know it, he starts with flirting with her and he wants to rape her. When Lilith Dube told me to do this, I was very scared. Because, I mean, I was meeting that actor for the first time. I had no communication with her. I did not I, I, I knew her name, that's all. She also knew my name. Apart from that, we didn't know each other. And we were to act as if we are both in two different states of inebriation, two different states of drunkenness.